Dee Crandall here, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about finding artistic inspiration. It is no surprise that 2020 has been a difficult year for so many people, and myself included in that I've found it difficult to continue deriving inspiration from my typical sources. I am so inspired by music, and I have gone to so many concerts, and I really derive most of my inspiration from seeing, you know, the songs that I love performed live, and I didn't get to go to a single concert in 2020, to nobody's surprise, and so I wanted to talk a little bit about shifting my focus and how I am finding the artistic inspiration to continue creating artwork throughout 2020. I think that a large part about finding inspiration comes from realizing what it is about your inspirations that inspires you. So looking critically at prior pieces that you've created and really trying to document what it was specifically that inspired you to create that piece. I've done this with several of my old pieces and have really come to realize that there are such a variety of inspirations, despite the fact that I used to think that it was solely music related. I am so inspired by music, but also by nature, by people, and just by like the tiniest little things on a day-to-day -day basis. And so I wanted to discuss that a little bit further in this video. Quickly, before we get into it though, let me talk about what you're seeing me paint. This is a piece that I created from Taylor Swift's new song, Ivy. I've absolutely loved this song and it is truly an inspiration. I have really enjoyed listening to her new music throughout this year and it has been like one of those little things that was really good about 2020. So thank you to Taylor Swift for the fantastic music. Please keep it up and... Uh, without any further ado, let's talk a little bit more about finding artistic inspiration. I think that a big thing that can help anybody out when they are looking for inspiration is getting outside and enjoying nature. Now, I realize that it is currently, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, winter, so this might be rather difficult for some of you, but truly I believe that if you can just get out and either go for a walk listen to music, um, just go enjoy nature in some fashion, it can be so inspirational. Now, travel has always been a huge inspiration of mine as well, and clearly 2020 was not the year for that either, uh, but discovering the little hidden gems of your own town can also be extremely inspirational, and often I find that I'm inspired by music when I'm listening to it in nature. So just changing your setting can be extremely inspirational regardless of what inspires you. I'm using music as an example as something that inspires me, but if you are inspired by other things, then try experiencing those things in a different setting. That can be so helpful and can just spark that little fire within you to create something new. Another great thing that I've tried in the past to spark inspiration is to try a challenge. Now, this year specifically, I did Inktober. Despite the fact that there was a huge scandal surrounding Inktober, I decided to complete it using my own prompt list and am so grateful that I took that opportunity to just force myself to create more artwork. I did so, again, regarding music because I chose all of my prompts to kind of follow along with what I call Songtober, so different songs for different days, and this was so inspiring just because I went into it choosing songs that I knew would have a certain feel to them or a certain visual element that would add to the experience of creating them visually for Songtober. You can do this with any artistic challenge that's out there. <laughs> there are so many challenges. If you search in YouTube for art challenge, you will find so many great examples of things that'll just spark that fire in you that you can maybe tailor 
to the things that specifically inspire you. So if that's like television, anime, nature, uh, different art mediums, no matter what it is that inspires you, you will find that completing a challenge will force the artistic aspect out of you so that you kind of don't have to have a fully formed idea in your head because you're going at it with a goal of completing the challenge as opposed to creating a new piece of artwork. It can be so helpful to do this and I would highly recommend that if you are struggling to find inspiration that you find an art challenge that sounds interesting to you and just go ahead and complete it. Another thing that I have found that has been so helpful with regard to finding inspiration has been to attempt to find a different form of art to evaluate or enjoy outside of creating your own art. What I mean by that is I've actually started to watch more television recently. Uh, this might just be a product, again, of 2020 being what it is, but I've been very much enjoying shows such as The Mandalorian and, more recently, The Queen's Gambit. I find these shows extremely visually appealing, and they are so inspirational with regard to making me want to create fan art for them or just take some of their stylistic elements and apply them to my own pieces. This might not be obvious with regard to my artwork if you're evaluating it. However, trust me, it is there. <laughs> I can tell. So this can be another great form of inspiration is trying to view or get involved with other artistic forms than typically inspires you. So like I said, I'm very much inspired by music. So exploring a different form of art has been extremely helpful. In starting my YouTube channel, I have also become much more involved in the booktube community, and books have been such an inspiration this year for my artwork. I've created multiple Poppy War pieces, and other book-related pieces are on their way, I promise. So this can also just be so helpful, is just engaging in a different form of art and taking elements from that art and applying it to your own. It can be a great breakthrough for inspiration in a time where inspiration might be tight. I have one more tip for you, which might sound extremely weird, and I apologize if you don't uh, agree or, or understand, but I constantly derive inspiration when I am in the shower. Now, I know, again, this sounds really strange, but trust me, it works. This has always been true for some reason. Whenever I am struggling with something or I'm having a difficult time uh, really understanding something with regard to, you know, back when I was in college or was just struggling with something uh, with regard to like, I, I don't know, any, any part of my life where I am struggling, such as finding inspiration in my artwork, uh, I find that if I take a shower and really think about what it is I am struggling with, then I will inevitably come to a conclusion, or in this case, will come up with new inspiration. I don't know if anyone can relate to this, but I encourage you to try it out. <laughs> it can be extremely helpful. And I don't know if it's just a change in setting, again, like I've mentioned previously, or what it is, but I just find that I am always able to derive new inspiration or come up with new artistic ideas when I'm in the shower. <laughs> Give it a try. Let me know if it works for you. And let me know if any of these tips have worked for you. I truly believe that artistic inspiration comes in, you know, flurries, and sometimes we feel far more inspired than others, but you can do something about it. You can try to force that artistic inspiration, if you will, through trying these mechanisms, and I'm sure there are so many other mechanisms out there as well. If you Google uh, this topic or if you type it into YouTube, finding artistic inspiration, there are so many amazing tips out there. And I just highly recommend that you go and check them out as well. I'll try to leave a few great videos linked below that I found extremely helpful as well. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Please give this video a like if you liked it. And please subscribe to my channel down below. Thank you so much.
Bye.